Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, thank you very much for the opportunity to, uh, to share our little experience. Uh, first of all, I'll have uh, three uh, little sections of my uh, short talk. Uh, first, I would like to give a little introduction of who we are, so you can position ourselves. And then uh, a little uh, comments uh, of what we have experienced during the uh, stakeholder workshop. And at the end, I would like to propose, uh, I won't say, definitely won't say a good practice, but uh, or a little activity at uh, our science center uh, at Mobilis. I would like to ask for the next slide if uh, I don't have anything that, okay, thank you. Um, Mobilis is a unique uh, thematic center in, in Europe, uh, focusing on vehicles, cars, uh, and mobility. As far as we know, uh, there's no other place uh, in, in Europe. Uh, it was a project uh, funded by the European Union. Uh, we call ourselves not only a science center, but uh, something like entry point of the uh, regional economic development uh, or carrier path, automotive carrier path. Uh, this where uh, we meet with uh, people, kids, uh, for the first time, and uh, that's uh, after they got enthusiastic about uh, uh, this, this word, uh, they can enter uh, this field. Uh, so we believe that uh, we are in a position uh, uh, through this, uh, well, infrastructure uh, and the way how we work, uh, we are in a position to, to organize a little bit uh, our regional partners uh, and bring them closer to uh, notions uh, such as uh, RRI. So that's why we are in the project. Uh, as the hub uh, came together uh, with our partners in the hub and the, and the people we could invite uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, the workshop, uh, we finally could reach uh, the uh, science community practitioners and policymakers on the local level and also on the national level, uh, engineering professionals, uh, the community, business and innovations community, uh, women organizations and groups of, uh, with special needs, uh, education community, uh, students, practitioners and policymakers as well, uh, both from or starting from the elementary school level to the university level, and also the uh, science communication. Uh, community. Uh, a couple of issues uh, that came up uh, during the discussion, uh, or key issues that came up. Uh, sustainability was uh, certainly uh, one of the main uh, main issues we talked about. Uh, obviously, there there was always devil's advocate around the table, so uh, you know the, the skept uh, skepticists were always there, uh, and uh, you know with all the talks, uh, it always came up that does it really worth it. Um, also, gender and, uh, issues and disabilities and dealing with uh, uh, special needs. Uh, it, it the, good, the good part is the getting attention uh, of, of these, these special needs. And the devil advocates always said that, uh, okay, whose responsibility is it? Is it really the business or, or uh, the, uh, the company's responsibility to deal with it? Uh, and if it's not enforced uh, by law or something, uh, would there be anyone really doing it, and, and does it pay off? Uh, and also, education was uh, c coming up very uh, uh, importantly. Uh, get y the young minds uh, early on board, uh, sensitize them, uh, giving them models, uh, giving them good uh, um, stories, projects that work, uh, and make them uh, uh, sensible uh, through, through those. Uh, and just working from bottom up, uh, probably, uh, we are in the capacity of uh, changing the state of mind of, uh, of society. And always, the, uh, as, as mentioned earlier, the devil's advocate came, uh, came around the table and, and uh, keep asking that uh, uh, these are costly efforts, uh, uh, ruining our competitiveness, uh, does it really help? Uh, can we compete? The rest of world who simply don't care. So these, these were the issues came up uh, on, the, on the workshop. And uh, after that, uh, just suggesting a little uh, bit of our experience at, as a science center. Uh, for those who uh, were here yesterday, I, I don't believe I can uh, tell anything uh, new because uh, most of these things uh, came up either from me or from, from others uh, in the discussions. But uh, the main thing is to talk the language they speak uh, and be there where they are, and I will tell you that what, what I mean by that. Uh, we believe that uh, through uh, our activity, um, we're trying to leveling uh, inequalities, uh, and uh, this, this is not a tool, uh, this is not a program, this is a set of tools that we are using uh, in order to, uh, to uh, reach out people 
uh, going to uh, the mountains, uh, going to distant places, going anywhere we need to, uh, to be with the people, as we heard uh, in the opening speech, um, and uh, trying to get through of, uh, limiting uh, factors like financial, financial issues, time constraints, and uh, assumed lack of interest. Uh, in, in that sense, we are uh, like me messengers or carriers, uh, bringing the word of science uh, to any, any, anywhere we can. And also, uh, uh, we definitely believe that uh, we always need to be a translator, uh, and uh, we need to uh, talk science in a way that uh, the recipient uh, would understand it. Uh, so uh, that's why we are using uh, multiple, multiple tools. Um, we call it like a multi-dimension uh, adaptive, adaptive science communication action. Um, the story of these uh, these tools always de behind, but the depth uh, and the and the uh, the wording is uh, always different. But these building blocks are building together, uh, starting from very young and going to uh, to a very uh, older age, adding complexity uh, and adding depth uh, as uh, the receivers can absorb it. Uh, with uh, with this ac action or activity, uh, we have the capacity to uh, to. Uh, reach very wide audience, uh, so we have the possibility to mass carriage uh, of the messages. And it, we believe that it's very important that uh, it should be inherent in the content, so it, it shouldn't be uh, very direct, uh, because that might uh, turn people away uh, from, from, from listening. Um, there's science for everyone, uh, we believe, uh, so we are escorting uh, through the way of life uh, kids, uh, starting uh, with the uh, uh, very young, uh, and from there on keeping up uh, the natural interest uh, and giving uh, through giving impulses along the way. Uh, we feel and we, we work uh, very importantly on, on career orientation, uh, helping to make decisions, uh, hopefully helping to make the right decisions by strengthening values. And there are uh, special situations and, and special needs that we are uh, addressing and, and serving. Uh, for example, for girls, uh, obviously, we are fighting against stereotypes, but uh, yet uh, playing out uh, some of the existing differences, which is, I, 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 we believe, that very good for society if we can use it right. Um, now, special programs for disabled pre uh, people, uh, obviously breaking down the barriers of access. Uh, we are involving elderly people, so uh, we, we help them improving their quality of life through science and, and uh, technology. Uh, and uh, by that, making them more accepting uh, through, uh, through better understanding of, of the developments of the world. And uh, we stress very much on families playing together. Uh, we believe that uh, this is a key uh, issue in, in forming values uh, uh, of kids, and not only for kids, uh, forming values of, uh, of uh, their parents as well. And uh, at the end, uh, just giving you a couple of examples uh, with pictures, uh, starting very, very young, the scientific birthdays, uh, girls' days, uh, science bazaar, uh, inviting uh, high school kids to experiment uh, as we usually do, obviously involving uh, university students as part-time explainers, uh, stress on family events very much, and we are doing science with the elderly and bringing uh, the, uh, uh, the ages uh, together, so probably play it out uh, with grandpa and the kid. Thank you.